Okay, so I just want to get some of that surface rust off quickly. I just use a uh, cheap drill. That way if I drop it in the water, break it, doesn't matter. And um, hard wire brush. And there's a little bit of surface rust here. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, yeah, I just give it a good whirl. That's just heavy duty scotch bright. Getting there. What I want to do is take a little bit of Varsol, wipe it down, let it dry. It just kind of cleans it up. Varsol or acetone, whatever. Something that's going to remove the uh, paint and the particles and whatnot. Doesn't have to be perfect, but um, just to stay on top of it, you know? And yeah, you're going to be painting over it all anyway. So that's how I prep it. All right, uh, next step clean rag. Hopefully the autofocus doesn't get all crazy here. But uh, there's always going to be something left over. Voila. Clean it up as much as you can. Again, you don't have to spend hours and hours doing this. Just It's all just about staying on top of things. And then once that's done... Take a little bit of uh, rust inhibitor. I like rust oleum. Not a sponsor. Oop. Give it a uh, give it a dose. A couple doses. Let it dry. Come back. Um, all this stuff here around, like all the paint, dust, and the dripping and stuff. Don't worry. It's not going into the water. Um, I'm going to take a sponge and clean it all up and toss it where the uh, sun don't shine. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the full uh, prop shaft alignment process, but in short, um, when you disconnect your uh, coupler, the prop shaft is going to sag a bit. So when you're hooking it back up, you're going to have to lift it up probably, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch. And you're going to slide it into the coupler on the motor side. You can see on the uh, prop shaft side, there's a bit of a lip there. So that's going to um, fit nicely into the uh, coupler on the motor side. Then what you do, what I do anyway, is put one bolt in and try to get it as equal as possible. You don't tighten it the whole way. Um, you try to get it all lined up as much as you can. And you take a feeler gauge. I start with like five thou. You can do ten thou. You can do three thou. It's really your own preference. And um, <clears throat> when you do start getting it all uh, nice and snug, you want to make sure that your feeler gauge isn't gripping more on one side than the other. It's a game of patience. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, you might have to adjust the mounts the brackets on the mounts here just by on this in this case you just move the bolts up and down so it's really simple uh, you might have to move it forward backwards up down left right whatever it takes um yeah by no means is this like the high-end precision process but it is what it is and it works for me all right so that one's good to be buttoned up this one well a little more surface rust than I anticipated, but uh, nonetheless, I will be victorious. Okay, there's always something. Um, this one is really stiff. That should not be that. 
hard to turn. So my guess is I can't even pull it forward or backwards. So my guess is actually that there's probably a bunch of muscles crammed up into the shaft log. Um, so I'm just gonna have to work on this, smash it a bit, and uh, try to work it free, because uh, that'll that'll just basically it'll put more load on the motor if I um, if I don't uh, get this loosened up. So. Uh, I got some work to do. I feel like I'm wearing a pair of bad idea jeans right now. I need to see what's going on under the boat. So um, I'm going to get the GoPro under there, attach it to the paddle here. Finally found another use for the paddle on the boat. It's a weird requirement that you have to have a paddle on a cabin cruiser. So. Here's the other bad idea. I don't have duct tape. Painters, I'm using painters tape. So, uh, wish me luck because I might very well lose the camera. to get it under the boat see if there are muscles or what is causing that uh, prop shaft to jam up sure if I could get back over the uh, transom there. My shoulder is so screwed up right now. I can't lift it higher than 90 degrees. Hmm. I can't tell. The screen's too small. Well, at least it's not a big giant stick down there, and the bottom looks relatively clean. I mean, there's some slime on it, but... Much better. I think it was the Iowa Hawkeyes that said they had a saying for their wrestling team that there's a point where uh, technique gives way to brute force. Anyway, I think I, think I loosened it up. So, happy about that. Now we can get back to the program. Alright, so just drop this one in quickly but as you can see you can twist it by hand no problem same with the uh, other side here that's all good I'm gonna work on the alignment a little bit more but uh, first I'm gonna get some food because I am starving all right so it is actually day two and um, I do have the motors uh, in place hiding in their IKEA boxes but I really needed to tend to this uh, packing nut, especially on the port side here. It was just dripping way too much. Um, last night, I was just you know, livid trying to get this thing loose. And uh, I only managed to get the bottom one loose. 
could not get the uh, top one loose at all. Uh, no matter how much I swore at it and cursed to the gods, just would not happen. So I went out and I got uh, some Deep Creep by Seafoam. Not a paid sponsor, but um, <laughs> it actually worked. So I just basically did a little shot like that up in the threads, like so. Let it sit for a bit. Took my uh, plumber's wrench and pipe wrench here and just kind of like do a bunch of little jerking motions. Again, um, main maintaining a uh, constant flow of curses and eventually it worked itself loose. It's really tempting to reef on it all at once, but what you'll do is just twist the whole um, housing for the uh, for the shaft, so the whole brass housing will twist inside uh, the hose here, and that's not a good thing. So yeah, you got to be patient, and you got to basically have a library of curse words. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna tighten this down, and hopefully it'll take care of some of the dripping. And um, it's not too bad actually right now. And then I gotta do the other one. There is always something that can derail a project. So um, with the new motor, turns out the driver shaft is about a quarter of an inch uh, shorter than the original motor that was there. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so normally you put this shim on, but you can see there's no room here. And what that does is when you place, oops, when you place the pulley on here, um, it should probably sit about that deep. But the problem is, is that that shim is preventing the uh, taper bushing from going any farther down the shaft. So I've got to lop off a little bit there, but then that also poses a question, like, is everything going to line up? So yeah, there's a little bit of mucking around I gotta do. Um, but whatever, at least I fixed my packing nut problem. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's just uh, nature of working on boats. If you don't like doing any type of tinkering or labor, don't get a boat.